Hey guys, this video is going to be about my text message controlled remote stutter that I built and installed in my 2004 Chevy Cavalier. So, why did I start this project? Over the summer I was adding a few things to my car to make it a little less basic. I started out with adding the SPAL four-door power locking kit as my car didn't come with power locks. Though I also wanted a remote, so I decided I should spend a little extra and go for a remote starter so I could warm up the car in the winter. I ended up buying and installing a Python 4103, which works very well with my car and has a nice little remote that doesn't take up a lot of room on my keychain. The range is great, though when I got to school I realized that the combination of the trees and the distance between the main building and the parking lots prevents the remote signal from reaching the car. Since neither I or the car were looking too forward to the winter, I needed to come up with something. Now, I'm not completely original. A company called Viper seems to have a nice, polished system that uses the cell network and an app on your phone that can replicate your remote's features. Unfortunately, in order to get this service, you need to have the already expensive system professionally installed. There's also a service charge about $70 to $100 a year. I wanted to see if I could replicate the system for less than 100 bucks and have minimal ongoing costs. So, how did I end up doing it? First off, I took apart one of my spare remotes. Since I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, I wanted to avoid hardwiring too much into the car. Using the remote also allowed me to easily control door locks and the trunk in addition to starting the car. I then soldered wires from the remote's battery and button contacts to a piece of proto board and added some pin headers to fit into an Arduino microcontroller. I also added a jack for a temperature sensor. After writing some code, I was able to control the remote using serial commands from a laptop. Parts from eBay started arriving, including the GSM shield. The GSM shield can be used with an Arduino to make and receive phone calls, as well as sending and receiving text messages. Since it's essentially a cell phone, it will need its own plan. After some research, the cheapest plan I could find was 7-Eleven Speakout Wireless, in which I could top up with $25 and have it last a year. Speakout also has unlimited incoming text messages. With the $25, I could also send 250 text messages in a year before needing to top up the account. With the plan sorted out, I went to work running code for the Arduino to wake up every 10 seconds, check the GSM shield for new messages, and then check if my phone number was the sender. If it was, the Arduino will read the command and send an electrical pulse to the corresponding button contact on the remote. Now that the code is written and the hardware is finished up, I just needed to install it in the car. Since this thing is going to be running all the time, I needed an easy way to turn it off if I'm not going to use the car for a while. So I built a switch panel that I could slide into the pocket underneath my radio. I also moved the remote starter's neutral safety switch and added a switch to turn off the subwoofer in the trunk. I ran the power wires and temperature sensor cable to the glove box and kept my device in a plastic container that I got from Princess Auto. Once I got everything working with manually sent text messages, I wanted to automate it a little. I didn't want to go through the trouble of programming an app to replicate Viper's solution, so I used an app called Tasker. Tasker is a powerful app that can be used to automate things on your Android device. In Tasker, I created a bunch of tasks that simply send a text message to the Arduino in the car and display a confirmation message. I can trigger them a couple different ways. First is using a shortcut on the home screen. The second is using a Google Now voice command. Okay, Google. Start car. My device can control anything that you can do normally from the remote as well as getting the interior temperature. This includes starting the car, controlling door locks, popping the trunk, and the car finder feature which just flashes the parking lights. Temperature readings are taken from the temperature sensor mounted at the top of the passenger side A pillar and will be sent back to my phone as a text message. Alright, so I've had this installed in my car for a couple months now and I've been really happy with it. I've used it almost every day that I'm at school or work and I haven't had any major issues. Though I do have some ideas that I may try to implement later on. First off, I want to lower the power consumption by optimizing the code and using a more efficient Arduino to lower my chances of draining the car battery. Or I could just attach it to an auxiliary battery. Secondly, I want to make it smaller. Right now it takes up most of the glove box. By soldering wires directly to the Arduino and the GSM shield, I could drastically reduce the size it needs to take up. And finally, I want to have some way of verifying that the car actually started and is running once I send the command. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did working on this project. 
In the future, I might have some other interesting projects, so if you did like this video, hit the subscribe button. See you next time.